Okay, this is it. We got about four acres here. Fence mostly down and taken away. So if we do put cows in here, that's going to have to be replaced. Mostly broom straw and weeds. So, but underneath you can see there is fescue underneath it. So we're going to be mowing it. And like I said, this would be only be a holding pasture. It's got this cute little barn that would be just right for calves and be able to store some hay in. It's not very big, about two stalls. Uh, and this is just right within walking distance of our house. So for calves that are transitioning before they go into the big pasture, this is going to be just perfect if we can get it in shape. So Righteous is waiting for me to get in, out of the way and he's going to get started. So boy, it is really looking good where we got to. And then, we had a problem. Okay, Mr. Mechanic, what happened? It looks like uh, the shaft that holds the stump jumper on dropped down somehow or another and it got on the edge of the teeth and heated up. So we'll have to tire on into it and see what, uh, what caused it to drop down. Hopefully we can get two new gears. So we're absolutely done for the day. We're done. We're done. We're dead in the water. Dead in the water. Dead in the water. Okay, nothing to do but take it home. So thankful for my mechanic husband that's going to figure out the parts. I mean, this thing is real. How old is this thing? 25 years old. So this is only 25 years old, so that's pretty young for our stuff. But it is. It didn't, wasn't straining or nothing. <coughs> When this happened, we didn't even know it happened until Righteous stopped. But we'll have to get the mechanic on it. All right, we found out what happened to the bush hog, and Joey's going to kind of go through and tell you what we had to do. Well, we tore on into it and um, seen the gears is rounded off. She can get a close up of that right there. Oh gosh, there. So anyway, the, the housing's good and the shafts are good. So this part's good. Yeah, everything's good but the gears. So I go to get the gears. They're no longer available. So you have to just buy a whole new gearbox. So I debated on whether to get a new bush hog or not. So we gave $350 for this one brand new uh, about 15, 20 years ago. So went to buy the new one and it was uh, one just like it would be 1500 now. So we said, uh, well, <laughs> how much is a gearbox? So he said it'd be around $200 for the whole gearbox. So that's the way I went and uh, got our bush hog back to going for, I had to put a stump jumper on it. Stump jumper had come loose on the shaft, uh, the old one. So we went ahead and put a new stump jumper. So we got $350 in our old bush hog, but we're, Back to bush hogging. So we've done, done been using it. Uh, we, we just had to cut the bolts out. They had been rusted underneath here. So cut those out and just mounted a new bush hog and a new stump jumper and we was able to use our old blades. So we didn't have to buy any blades and the shaft and all was still good on this one. So we just I did have to cut it because this shaft was a little bit uh, shorter than the other one and this was rubbing up against the seal so I had to cut some off of the coupling here to make it work but got it working. So how much total did it cost you with the stump dumper and everything? Uh, $350. $350 and you got a and it would a new one would have cost? $1,500. $1,500 okay. So that was a savings on it. And it runs like new now. Oh yeah. It doesn't look like new, but it runs like the new. The body's in bad shape, but uh, I'd have the, uh, a new one in the same shape in a little while anyway. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Well, thank you for showing us that. Uh, you're welcome.
Now when the tractor broke down, we had a bunch of old sorghum seeds left. So we decided to throw them on the this land because we knew it was poor. And just to see how they grow. And they did grow. We've been gone for about six weeks. That's how long it took us to get all our other stuff done and get the tractor fixed. But they did come up. Here's a little bunch over here. But look how yellow they are. And that's just an indication of how poor this land is. And bush hogging it like this is just giving it some more nutrients. So this dry matter is just going to lay down and rot. Here's some milkweed. Get out of his way. All this is just going to rot down into there. This field is a whole lot bigger than I thought. We've been mowing for about an hour and a half. So just as much on the other side has been mowed as over here. Up there against the trees. It's getting narrower. We don't quite yet know what we're going to do with this field. But just to uh, be able to start improving it, that's something that's good. It has a nice little barn, run-in barn in it, on it. It's got two little areas over here with the feeder and two more over there. Just needs to be cleaned out around. He's getting down to the last little swath. Look at this beautiful field. It's got all this good mulch down to feed it. And we will, if we had manure to put on it, that's what we would do, but we don't. So we will just let it rest till next spring. Maybe throw some clover on it. 